Hello everyone, this is Michael Peña, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use VSTS to our Ubuntu Linux so that, um, you know, we can share our code with our colleagues. For example, if we're working on with ASP.NET Core, which is now cross-platform, you know, uh, it's something we can develop on Linux using Visual Studio Code and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how we can... Um, utilize VSTS on uh, Ubuntu Linux machine. Okay, so first and foremost, just open your favorite browser. Okay, then log into your Visual Studio Team Services account. So if you don't have a Visual Studio Team Services account yet, um, you can check out my video, which is the Getting Started with VSTS on Mac. Um, in that video, I showed how you can um, create your VSTS account. So just click on that one or just go to visualstudio.com slash team dash services. Okay, now that I'm in the Visual Studio Team Services page, all I need to do is um, just sign in or you know you can get started for free if you don't have a VSTS account yet. But since I already have a VSTS account, I'm just going to sign in. Okay, so now that we're in um, our VSTS page, all we need to do is, you know, go to our um, VSTS account. So in this case, I'm going to my favorite VSTS, that visualstudio.com, and I'm the owner of that um, VSTS project. Click on that one. Okay, so now that we're now in the My Favorite VSTS uh, project, um, here you can see all the uh, projects I have. And I'm going to choose, um, in this case, I already have a project, which is my second project. I'm going to click on that one. And what I want to do is that I need to make sure that the source code in this project can also be um, cloned in my um, local machine. So it's very straightforward. If you already know Git, this won't be a um, trivial thing for you to do. Okay, now that we're in my second project um, page, let's just go to the code section, which is the my second project. Okay, that one. And there you go. Um, so in order to clone this, just go to the upper right portion and you, you can see the clone button in here. Click on that one. And just copy the uh, um, Git URL. Okay. Um, optionally, you can also create your Git credentials for this VSTS project, but by default, um, it's going to utilize the um, Microsoft account that you use to log in in your VSTS project. So I'm just going to copy that one. Oh, another thing is alterna uh, alternatively, you can also um, use different IDEs to um, to clone your repository from VSTS, such as Android Studio. Okay. This, but in this one, I'm just going to use the um, command line. Okay. Copy that one, and basically just open a terminal and search your computer and open a terminal okay okay now that we're in the terminal it's uh, very straightforward you know we just need to clone the git um, repository to our local machine i'm just going to um, use my desktop as my directory and all i need to do is you know just git clone and the paste in the git url okay so in some cases um your machine or your Ubuntu Linux machine doesn't have Git yet, all you need to do is just install it. Uh, it will prompt you an error and an instruction on how to install it. And it might ask you for a password since you need to use the sudo command sometimes. Okay, I'm now cloning and um, I need to type in my username and in this case, my username is the Microsoft account 
or Microsoft account username associated with this VSDS project. Okay. You need to type in your password. So in some cases, if you set your Git credentials, this will be uh, different since you know you're going to set manually your username and password. Okay, then there you go. It's now um, cloned, and um, it's now in your in your uh, machine. So let's check it out. There you go. My second project, for example. Uh, there you go. I just want to add a um, a text file, for example, a readme. Readme that text, which is you know, um, I just need to type in install Visual Studio 2017. Install. Oops. Xamarin. So there you go. Save it in. Oops. And um, let me go back to my terminal. And if I go for a git status, okay, I need to go to my repository first, which is um, my second project. And um, go for a git status. And there you go. You can see that the readme.txt was added. So I just need to add that file. Just type in git add space, you know. You can just type readme.txt or dash dash all up to you. So if you go for a git status one more time, and um, yeah, the, there's now the readme.txt as a new file. So we need to um, commit this one so that it will be part of the local repository. Git commit dash m space, um, you know, um, open um, double quote, added read me then end it with a double quote again and press enter okay so in this case i don't um, have yet my um, username and uh, set email for my um, git um, credential in my local machine so i just need to set it up as uh, git config dash dash global User that email is a Microsoft account. Okay. And I'm going to use the other one. User that name is, um, oops, Michael Pena. There you go. And let me try to commit this one again. All right, there you go. And I'm going to get push origin master since I'm just using the master branch for now. Okay, username, which is mvtpena.outlook.com. And the password. And there you go. Um, I was now able to make some changes from my Linux Ubuntu machine to the VSTS repository. So if I go back and uh, refresh this page, okay, there you go. The readme.txt is now added to our um, code repository. And if we go for, to the history, we're going to see that um, readme.txt was added two minutes ago. And there you go. It's um, very simple uh, to use um, Visual Studio Team Services to your Linux machine. It's just as simple as using Git. Um, alternatively, you can use other um, version control um, management for your Git repository, such as um, you know Source Tree or Git Kraken or uh, whatnot. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, and if you have questions, just send your comments or anything, suggestions, um, just comment it out. Thank you. Bye.